Out of all the features and upgrades that have been implemented within Lightroom over the years, I don't think there's been an enhancement that has had as dramatic of an effect on the way that I edit my landscape photos than that of range masks. Now, before the introduction of range masks, there really wasn't a good way to create a, a highly targeted local adjustment outside of using the graduated or, or radio filter or maybe even the adjustment brush. But these tools were very limited as to how targeted they could actually be. And I'm a firm believer that the power of highly targeted local adjustments is what can single-handedly take a, a good photo and make it a great one. Now, if you're not familiar with what range masks are or how to use them or what they can even do for you, I wanna share with you a couple quick tips that'll enable you to get started. Now, I think this is a classic example of a situation where we want to bring some detail into the sky, really wanna accent some of these uh, red and pink tones that are coming through. So we could go the route of applying a couple global adjustments so we could reduce the exposure a little bit. That'll definitely bring back some detail in the sky. Of course, we can bring the highlight slider down as well. And as you can see, that did bring a lot of detail into the sky right through here, but it also impacted the overall image right through here. And if I toggle the edit on and off, this is before and after, before and after, and the sky looks much better, but the overall image was impacted in a negative way. And that's kind of the, the problem with using a global adjustment. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna apply a highly targeted local adjustment only to the sky. So let me go ahead and just reset this. I'm gonna come up here to the graduated filter. I'm gonna just drag this across the sky, the area that we wanna impact right there. Hit the shortcut key O. I see exactly what, we're what area is being targeted. And I think something, I think that right there looks good. And if you're wondering why my mask overlay is green, you can actually cycle through a few different uh, variation of colors by holding down the shift and O combination to kind of toggle through there. So you've got a few different colors to select from. I usually use red or green, but um, let me go ahead and turn that off right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring the exposure down quite a bit. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more than normal just so it's easier to see at home bring the highlight slider down as well. And once again, we have a lot of that nice detail through the sky. The sky looks good, but it actually darkened a lot of the tops of this tree right through here and the mountain. And you can see that really good when I toggle this on and off. And that's exactly what we do not want to do. We only want to target the sky. We want to leave the top of the tree and the back, then the, uh, the mountains in the background completely alone. And this is where the power of range masks really comes in handy. So I'm gonna come over here to range mask. I'm gonna select luminance range mask. I'm gonna select this checkbox next to show luminance mask. And I'm just gonna to start to slide this over. And everything that is in red is gonna receive the edit and everything that is not in red is not going to. So I'm just gonna keep sliding this over until the mountain and the trees are masked out. I'm gonna take the smoothness slider and kind of bring this down just a little bit just to make that mask a little bit more refined. I think that looks good there. Kind of bring this exposure up just a little bit. I think that's a little bit too overdone. Bring the highlights back some. And now we'll toggle this on and off. So this is before and after, before and after. And you can see if we zoom in here, you can see how we just completely left the tree alone. Before, after. Especially if you look through here and all around here, look how targeted that is. And that's really the power of utilizing range mask and there's so many different variations of, or different tools and different techniques you can apply this with the possibilities are really endless so i hope that helps you feel a bit more comfortable with what range masks are and how you can improve your outdoor landscape photos with them and if you enjoyed this quick video and would like to see more tips like this be sure to join us for our lightroom virtual summit on may 3rd through may 7th where I'll be discussing all the details and benefits associated with range masks, along with uh, multiple other techniques you can use with them that'll take your photography to an entirely new level.